Hey, this is the Pay Me No Mind podcast in the house with Justin the Loach, 154 pound, uh, just contender coming. Uh, what's going on with you, man? My question is for you. Since you've been to Holyfield, I mean, Georgia really hasn't been on the map that big in football. What are people overlooking with the, with the Georgia fighting style, the Georgia boxing style? Oh, man, we got it, man. I feel like it's just, it's just enough, man. You know, we really ain't have got a solid fighter since, you know, Brandon Falls and the Paul Williams. But, you know, I'm bringing a new era back, man. I'm just going back to that, that old school thing, man. You know, I feel like we got that boxer puncher style. You know what I mean? So, and I'm, and I'm bringing it back. So, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. I was curious. Uh, I'm actually from Dayton, Ohio. Okay. Uh, did some things with the Pearsons. Yeah. Uh, that was a big fight for you. What I want to know is... Coming out of the, uh, was it Dalton? Dominique Dalton? Dominique Dalton, yeah. You were blowing him out early, and it seemed like you stepped off the gas. Were you leaving some things to show folks, or was he just, or was he just pushing you and you backed away? You were looking up at the monitors. I was about Dalton. Oh, yeah. First of all, shout out to Dominique Dalton. Man, that was a tough fight. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, fighting Dominique Dalton, man, I really had to go to Boston Wall. And honestly, fighting Dominique Dalton prepared me for any other fight from that day forward. Like I said, for the Chris Pearson fight, because he showed me a lot about myself in that fight. You know what I mean? First of all, I had a leg injury in camp. You know what I'm saying? So I, I couldn't really get my cardio on how I wanted to, you know what I mean? And that, and I got exposed about that, you know what I'm saying? Because he definitely came to fight, so that's what happened. <laughs> now, I saw, I was watching that Pearson fight closely because obviously my ties yeah. to the Pearson family. Yeah. You walked back to your corner uh, at the end of the first round and gave a wink to uh, your seconds or something. Yeah. Was it something you saw that you knew? I mean, we haven't seen you blow people out yeah, like that. Yeah. Was it something that you saw in Chris's performance that night that you thought you would be able to exploit that quickly? I, seen, I, I followed Chris. I watched his Twitter. I watched his Instagram. You ready to mention that? I watched everything. I, I, I learned him. I seen his weakness. I seen that. I felt like he was definitely playing the sport of boxing. I feel like he wasn't dedicated. You know, I seen him post like in the middle of camp. He posted a card that he was ready to get back home to. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So I knew right then and there, you know, he didn't know what was really going on.